today we're going to be taking a look at some people that think they are very smart, but obviously aren't. By looking at the top posts on the subreddit, r slash I am very smart. Oh, of course, an Andrew Tate tweet is, is the top thing on this subreddit. I can play chess in my mind. <laughs> what? I can play chess in my mind for up to move 21 without losing the position. I can stop my heart for a beat at will. You've had the same 87 days without any of the limitations of being in a Romanian jail. Why would I want to do any of that? Also, I've been getting a lot of comments about people really angry that my mask isn't central. It's not even something I noticed. I, I don't, I, so I, I will fix this now for you, okay? For the five people that get very upset every video that my mask isn't central, okay? Is that better? Are you happy now? Oh my God, there's another one. My unmatched... What what is that word? Perspicacity. I've never seen that word in my life. I don't even know if that is a real word. Andrew Tate has very clearly been getting his thesaurus out. With sheer... Oh my God, what is that word? Indefatag... What? That's not a word. Makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. I don't even know what you're trying to say, Andrew. How people fix light bulbs before Isaac Newton invented gravity. Gravity was never just randomly corrected by us. <laughs> Gravity was simply more often acknowledged and tested by mortals. Therefore, this meme is not funny. Um, actually, your meme is not funny because it is illogical. All right, so there is a, a rhino painting a an elephant. Uh, uh, and there's, there's a horn there because it's in his line of vision. With the presumption of binary vision, the painting should depict two medial translucent horns. It's a cartoon of a rhino painting an elephant. I don't think it's supposed to be realistic. <laughs> right, okay. So someone asked on Reddit, how high do you think your IQ is? Half of people answers higher than average or genius. <laughs> me when I take online IQ tests. Everything everywhere all at once must be nice if you like art to pander, flatter your vanities, authorize your attitudes, preserve you from exposure to anything that is not a positive. It is chamboree with the pacifying successor of pert little morals, so many ready made lying in store. That's not coherent. That's not a coherent tweet. What does any of that mean? I've never seen 20% of those words before in my life. Just enjoy the movie, man. Or don't, but <laughs> help. How much must someone not enjoy a movie to write this? I read a couple of pages of Newton's Principia Mathematica yesterday, then went on Twitter. I immediately saw how low IQ this place is. It's horrifying. Yeah, man, I mean, I don't disagree with you. Twitter is an outstandingly low IQ place. But did you really have to read a couple of pages of Newton's Principia Mathematica to come to that conclusion? Also, how, how does that tie into Twitter? I'm going to see if I can find like a like an ebook version of Principia Mathematica and we can try and read it together. All right, here we go. Gentlemen, a stirring freshness in the air and ruddy streaks upon the horizon of the moral world betoken to the grace of joy. Uh, it's not going to be interesting. I don't even know why I opened this. That's good, is it? What's good about that? Yeah, you're cute. But do you like nature, the stars, evolution, <laughs> psychology, philosophy, the universe, peace, compassion, raising consciousness? In other words, can you keep up with me? This is the type of shit that someone you went to school with that was perpetually in set eight would post on Facebook. Very very normal person describing themselves. Oh my god, you can already tell how awful it's gonna be from the profile picture. Auto did what? Autodidact. Bibliophile. What's that? That sounds dodgy. Bibliophage. Skeptic. Solid. Mate, I don't know what any of these words mean. None of them. I don't think I've ever seen any of these words except skeptic. Virginity facts. Oh my god. I have been looking for some virginity facts everywhere. People who are late to lose their virginity, 19 and older, are shown to have a higher education income and healthier relationships than those who lose it earlier. Who's, do who's doing this test? Why are they testing this? Surely there is no benefit to humanity by testing this. 19 year old girl takes pride in not being able to socialize with people in her age group. When you get along better with the 35 plus year old chemists and PhDs rather than with the 25 plus year old party goers. I mean, I'm 25 and I wouldn't really say there are many 25 plus year old regular party goers. I might go to a party every few months. I don't know why that's my main takeaway from this, but like, it is, it's, it's true. Like, when once you get to 25, it feels like all, all those sorts of things just slow down. You begin to stop enjoying nightclubs and stuff. I never really enjoyed them too much to begin with, but you know, I would go to them. I just don't anymore. I just quite like either staying in or going to a pub or something. I don't know what this is for. Is this like for like a, a dating app or something? Hopefully you are out there. Like me, you are not vaccinated for COVID-19. Within one standard deviation of 140 IQ, roughly 15 points above or below. So that is 
easier for us to communicate. An empath with an open mind, interested in conspiracy theories, looking for something serious but wanting to go slow. Musically inclined, I used to play cello and saxophone, but I can pick up almost any instrument and play a tune after learning a scale. Wow, that's so cool. It's hard finding people like us, but if you are out there, please reach out with something thought-provoking. A lot of people don't read my bio before they hit like and just send hi or hey, of which I wean out the men who simply clicks like because I'm pretty, lol. Looks aren't everything. I've never met my biological parents. I'm like, what? You've just slipped that in, never know. <laughs> I love quantum physics and Jesus. I'm unusually clingy, the good kind. So I need someone who actually has time for me. That last bit reads like a description on like Battersea Dogs Home, you know, like, like you need to be around for them. It's honestly not hard to become a lawyer. I I mean, yes, it is. Have you ever, like, met a law student? Have you ever seen what their textbooks are like? They're, like, this thick. They're this thick. The text is, like, the smallest it could possibly be. And the page is a wafer thin. I would hate to study law. Basically, every education that doesn't involve abstract mathematics is easy to complete. <laughs> What's so basically memorizing several textbooks? Thousands and thousands of laws all written in legalese. That's that's easy. Because it doesn't contain maps. What? Most mentally sane Discord user. Harvard graduate. PhD. IQ of 138. <laughs> Stanford Binet. I'm guessing that's a university or, or, or something. I don't know. Stanford's a university and it's sex pundit. What does that mean? What's a sex pundit? Because if you're bragging about your IQ... <laughs> Because if it means you're like a sex haver, I, I somehow don't believe you. I don't think someone who puts their IQ in their Discord bio is a, is a regular sex haver. Cunning linguist. Oh, I get I get that. That was excellent wordplay. The sort of wordplay someone with an IQ of 138 would do. Free thinking alpha male and lone wolf. Likely hotter than you and definitely smarter. Debate me. I'm ready. No, no, I will not be doing that. The SAT is a horrible test and correlates negatively to IQ. Did you fail your test? Is that what what you did my 940 on the sat is good because it means that i have a high iq what is a not what does that mean what does that mean in english <laughs> it ranks in the bottom 29th percentile <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, it's not that bad. Like, I'm looking on this website. I don't know what I was talking about with that sort of percentile thing. I, I, I don't know if that was true. Apparently, it's equivalent to about a B. I, I don't know. That sounds okay. I bet the SAT correlates negatively to IQ because I'm smart enough to not put 1 million hours into studying for the useless test that anyone can get over a 1,500 on. And I can get it too, but I just don't want to. Yeah, I, I could I could have got a perfect score, but I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to, okay? It would correlate negatively towards my IQ. So the SAT is 1,500s odd, but they, I don't, is that, a, is that a correct sentence? I'm probably not as smart as 1,200 scorers. <laughs> And I can just go test optional. Yeah, of course, mate. Of course. Whatever makes you feel better. 11 year old has had greatness thrust upon him. Why do you have an IQ of 210? Well, they're asking this person why he has an IQ of 210. Oh, anyway. Because my parents are extremely gifted. One earned a PhD in quantum mechanics at the age of 23. The other earned an MD from Harvard University's medical school at the age of 25. Both my parents have IQs of 180 on a standard deviation scale of 50. To be fair, if this kid is 11 years old, this is really well written. I'm currently 11 years of age and I'm working on my <laughs> I'm working on my bachelor's degree in biochemical engineering. What, <laughs> what the fuck do you mean you're working on your bachelor's degree in biochemical engineering at 11? No, you're not. <laughs> I'm 25. I don't even know what that is. The reason I'm this intelligent is not only because of flawless genetics, but because I received an intellectually demanding childhood chock full of textbooks, including ones on mechanical advantage, advanced calculus, microbiology, and a conundrum of other highly esteemed pieces of literature. Oh yeah, you must have had a riot growing up. I received a 36 on the act designed for high school students, as well as a perfect score in the SAT. So to answer your question of why I have an IQ of 120, I shall refer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's, it cuts off after that. But no, this kid, that kid is probably very smart. Being realistic, that, very smart. I, I have no idea what this is for. But what makes you special? What makes me special? I'm 5'11", i.e. taller than most Indian guys. I'm 17 and own an iPhone 12 Pro. I have a PS5 as well as a gaming PC. <laughs> That's such a funny thing to put under what makes me special. I have an iPhone and a PS5. I live in the United States of America, LA to be precise. My ex-girlfriends have all been white. Something I'm proud of. What? 
<laughs> what? I'm an intellectual and then some random words. I guess I guess he just smashed his keyboard. I think I'm a mix between an alpha and sigma male. I am a lone wolf type, but very outgoing too. I am working out to be more muscular at just 17 years of age. Most kids my age watch friends and shit. I read Feynman lectures and watch more intellectual shows. Yes, this, this guy watches The Big Bang Theory because they talk about physics and stuff. I don't use shit like Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit. They're for normies. I only use Quora, LinkedIn, etc. Keep up your standards. Isn't Quora basically just like Yahoo Answers? Like, if I'm looking for an answer to something, there's always a Quora link. Also, LinkedIn is shit, in it? It's just people gloating. I like Italian food over Indian. What? You're an Indian guy that likes Italian food over Indian? What? Oh, Matt, that makes you so special. I want to become a billionaire. Big I mean, yeah, I mean, we all do, mate. That doesn't make you special. Biggest life goal. Most of my friends are into middle ways jobs. Ha ha ha. Dream higher and bigger, fellas. I like physics, maths, astronomy over low IQ subjects like arts. Like, how do people even go into arts? It's boring as hell and doesn't make use of brain one bit. You're right, it does not make use of brain one bit, mate. I'm a buzzing polymath and polyglot. I'm pretty fair skinned. A lot of these have to do with race for some reason. I prefer relationships over hookups as I've tried them both. Yeah, of course you have, mate. Of course you have. Rofix is omnipotent. What's omnipotent? Oh no, omnipresent. That means we're everywhere at the same time. In this video, am I just exposing my like illiteracy? Like I don't know so many words. Oh, it means to have like unlimited power. No way, this is real. It's fake. I could read when people are lying by the way they're talking and their movements. You could say I'm like a god or something. No one asked, mate. Huh? Please be quiet. Technician gets upset and unleashes his inner intellectual upon my coworker. Send me the job. We already have someone on it. Now I'll be talking to. Uh, go ahead, lol. You think you're funny, lol? That's adorable and naive too. Okay, should I enlighten you with more vocabulary words or do you know enough? <laughs> I do actually. I find it unfair. Fathomable, you digress your own inaptitude with your maturity below a threshold that is belittling to yourself. Enjoy that, will you? Not you projecting. Typical of a woman to deflect. Are oh, threatening your masculinity now, are we? You're no more cunning at words than a donkey that neighs that you used the wrong you're there. Like, if you. <laughs> If you're gonna try and be like really pretentious with your writing and stuff, at least use the right your. Maybe don't be so rude to dispatchers. You are. I wouldn't consider this rudeness mere teasing that your own insecurities can't handle. No, you're just fucking weird. Go on now, run along to. Uh... Well, men prefer to minimise responsibility while women typically deflect. So your attempt at being witty about my masculinity he was nonsensical at the least. Or if you're such a man, then don't text back. It's busy. Nobody has time for that. Carry on with yourself as a lady would. <laughs> what? The MCU is boss of the barrel entertainment wise they don't even have a good score to go with any film and all you get is guardians of the galaxy with his low tier boomer rock anyone who has watched these films and enjoyed them have the same intellectual iq minus 137 of the average american so i'm not surprised they're so famous yeah i mean i don't i think marvel films are pretty like naff for the most bit but i don't know why you had to flex your iq being like oh, i like uh, i like intellectual films like uh, beverly hills chihuahua that is an intellectual film that i like very much okay just to add validity you won't believe it anyway. I have a proven IQ of over 160. I have spent years reading about this as I'm fascinated by it. I honestly don't care if I'm proven wrong. I do want to learn from you all. If this can't be refuted, then I think this is the answer to the theory of everything. What? What the fuck are you on about? I have ridden gigantic test scores to riches and <laughs> It can still be done, but you have to be genuinely smart and work hard to pick the right opportunities. I've risen gigantic test scores to riches and happiness. <laughs> what a sentence. I actually love that. You have the most superfluous, <laughs> superfluously refulgent and silient eyes resembling a pair of paraceline in the ev evening firament. I hope you're staying safe and healthy in all of this recent upheaval. I guarantee this guy, this guy just put a sentence into chat GPT and said, make it fancy. See, nobody knows what these words mean. Love is like a cigarette. It's fun at first, but eventually it kills you. I'm 13 and this is deep. Um, okay, kid, I'm 16 and I don't feel it's deep. Right now, quantum mechanics and string theory are deep for me. <laughs> me when I watched the Big Bang Theory once. Should I disclose my IQ to my manager? I'm afraid I'll trigger some insecurity in him and he'll start looking for reasons to get rid of me. Whenever he assigns me a task, he acts proud of himself for thinking he's keeping me busy for the next few weeks. He actually looks disappointed when I'm done with the assignment by the following morning. He can't 
keep me busy and I seem to be frustrating him because of it. My IQ test came back with a score of 146, higher than 99.9% .9 of the population. Why do people take IQ tests? Like, I've taken one, like a free one online. And it gave me bang on 100, which I think is like exactly average, but I don't believe it. To get like an accurate score, you actually have to pay for it. Why would you bother doing that? Like what realistic, how, how would that benefit your life in any way? I can be really dumb in many areas, but computer programming is what my brain is wired for. So it does it really fast. I don't even have to be at a computer for my brain to keep programming out a solution. So when I return to my desk, I merely type out what my brain has already solved. That's really cool. But to answer your question, yes, I think you should disclose your IQ to your manager. It's really important. Whenever I'm hiring, I actually ask on applications for people to list their IQ along with proof of that score. I made this Facebook post back in 2014 as a self-righteous high school sophomore. I've since deleted it, but saved this screenshot of a reminder of my greatest shame. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's the acronym OMG and you've proceeded to write like a small essay about this. First, if we actually stretch that out to what it's supposed to represent, we have, oh my God, which is grammatically incorrect because my should not be capitalized. Some people choose OMG lowercase. Again, wrong because this translates to, oh my God, in which case O should be capitalized because <laughs> it's the start of the sentence. God should be capitalized as well as it is a proper noun. Unless you believe in multiple gods and are just expressing your ownership towards a single unnamed one, this makes no sense. Some do OMG because their phone automatically capitalizes. Same problem here. We need, we need for God to be capitalized. Lastly, it's an acronym, which means we need periods after every letter. It's not, it's not that deep. But all, all together, this means that the grammatically correct term would be this, like O dot M dot G, which would be perfect if it wasn't for the fact that people refuse to recognize it as a form of OMG. Yeah, because if you use that, you look like a freak, <laughs> which gets to my last point. As I mentioned prior to this rant, I hate the acronym in general. So here's my last question. Would it kill you to actually type out the words, oh, happy pie? <laughs> everyone. You know, when preparing for D&D &D involves doing statistical algebra in five dimension, you've probably gone too far. Don't ask. I won't. Girls of Match, please fill me in. It boggles my mind how infrequently anyone responds to my messages. Like, what makes it so hard to say something back on the internet? Seriously, at least shoot me down. I have a... <laughs> Fucking hell. I have an IQ over 200. You forgot to put the Q at the end of IQ. Actually tested on the official Mensa site. Crazy, right? I'm wealthy, tall, broad-shouldered, and built. I've messaged like 30 girls and only one replied once. I mean, by any chance do you open with, I have an IQ of 200, I'm wealthy, and I'm tall? Is that how you message people? Because that that would probably be the reason why. Cute Japanese girl. Thanks for the likes. Please follow me. It is not enough only to be cute. I want to be reading intellectually stimulating posts when I'm on Twitter with important messages and so forth. Mate, if you're looking for that on Twitter, you are in the wrong place. I actually tested at borderline genius IQ level, so fuck, I don't know what this is in reply to, but you know nothing about me. I question anyone's ability to think who has a profile that says you stand with Ukraine and got vaccinated. Oh my, I'm not even going to bother reading this. This was literally on an Instagram post about someone putting a rubber dinosaur head on an exhaust pipe on a car. I am a 17 year old sapiophile, J-E-E aspirant, astrophile, philomath, polymath, polyglot, optimist, perfectionist, intellectual, <laughs> I NT whatever the fuck that is agnostic atheist. Those are different things. You can't be both. A political anarchist crick cricketer. Idealist, becoming a billionaire is the final destination for me. Not interested in girls who can't solve a simple arithmetic question in their mind. Please don't bring dishonor to my intellectual integrity. Narcissistic it may sound, but having high self-esteem and holding myself to high standards isn't explicitly unethical or aberrant. I also have a stark apathy towards lincentus and dissolute women. My favorite author is Sir Richard Feynman. Resnick Halliday and Walker. I.E. or... I'm... Uh, I don't know any of those people except Stephen Hawking. My favorite TV shows? I don't watch TV, period. He's too busy reading maths books. My favorite subjects? Physics, mathematics, computer science, astronomy, astrophysics, paleontology, Roman history, cosmology. <laughs> Cosmology, rocket science. Is he trying to like impress girls with this <laughs> or what? I wish there was only fans for intelligent stuff like literature and mathematics. There is, it's called, it's called a bookshop. What do you mean I wish there was only fans for intelligent stuff like literature and mathematics? Get a Kindle. That's, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> I refuse to Google Kuma, please. Elegantly elu... I'm not sure what that word is. What does that word mean? I need to look up what that means. Elucid... I don't know how to pronounce that. Elucidate. Elucidate. To make something clear. It means to make something... <laughs>
literally a certified genius who created the tech industry right and they've they filled out a yelp review i'm guessing that's what this is or trust pilot or something their tests are a failure i'm literally a certified genius so to tell me i didn't pass their cognitive test just means they don't know how cognitive tests work in short almost the entire test is numerical math problems the kind no one actually ever does in real life yes there were some actual cognition questions but just very few just math math and more math i have a disability related to reading numbers but again i'm a freak <laughs> i'm a certified freaking genius and reading numbers has nothing to do with critical thinking nothing this is just one more example of how millennials are not the right people to be running things maybe someday they will shut up and listen to those of us who created the tech industry but it's not looking good i think you're just very upset you failed the test <laughs> if we aren't on the same wavelength in terms of ambitions goals and aspirations no matter who you are sooner than later i will get rid of you. I cannot fail simply because my dreams are too big for your brain. I will find people with whom I share common interest and move. Yeah, good for you, pal. I'm smart, like really smart. It comes with advantages and disadvantages. The biggest disadvantage is you and your ilk. There is this depressing quality among humans to assume that because they don't understand, it must be the fault of the presenter. My kids aren't stupid. They have bad teachers kind of idea. Being less smart is no more your fault than being smart is mine. I don't even hate you. It's life. But there are so many more of you than there are people like me. So you weigh down the progress on humanity as a whole. It would be sad if there was a goal to this whole thing because we would never make it. People like the experience of self too much to change. That's so deep, man. This is a comment on a video about some kind of padlock. Only use I can think of is for childproofing cabinets, honestly. Depends on how crafty your children are. I disassembled and reassembled the family microwave when I was free. And I'm sure I wasn't the only toddler too clever for my own good. No, you didn't. You didn't disassemble and reassemble a microwave at age three. Stop lying. She is the kind of person whom if I explain the matter slash energy equivalency proof she would be like yeah i mean i think 99.9% .9 of the population would be like that if you if you, if you explain the matter slash energy equivalency proof what the fuck even is that seriously why be yourself they don't like you if you act the way the world expects you to they don't like you my first year in college i dated the captain of the volleyball team who was also the valedictorian she secretly dated me because she had to keep up appearances because she was expected to date the captain of the basketball team because that's what was expected of her the captain of the basketball team was dumb as brick she was with me and him. She dropped me for other reasons. One being I'm too smart. And she's scared to leave her for other women. And she's scared is leave her for other women. She wants to date a grown child that she pampered because he was the safe choice. Multiple other women I dated who were smart dated the safe choice, but not the smart one. Why? Because if they were taught to stigmatize against us by idiotic parents who lived through them and didn't let these children grow up appropriately, I'll be the stupid one they still don't want that. I'm not even, there's two paragraphs left. I'm not reading this. My brain is rotting. I'm gonna leave it there for this video. My IQ has jumped by at least 10 points during the course of recording this video. So like and subscribe for more educational content.